Hi, in this tutorial, I will show you how to create 24 strand braid and flower crown. 24 strand braid is created by different woven techniques, and flower crown is easy to do, it's great for beginners too. This is my hairstyle EXO. In this channel, I will show you lots of different braids and hairstyles. Hopefully you will like it. Beginning by taking the section for the flower crown and putting away the weight. Next, find the middle point from the back. Take two strands of hair and cross them over each other like this. This is the first stitch of the 24 strand braid. Take the hair strand from the left side and bring it over. Then take the strand from the right side, bring it under and over the next. Add hair from the left side. Bring the strand first, under and then over. Take again some hair from the right side. Bring the strand over, under and over. Tightening to weave time after time. Add hair again from the left side. Bring the strand over, under and over. Take a new strand from the right side. Bring the strand under, over, under and over. Take a new strand from the left side. Bring the strand under, over, under and over. Then take the new strand from the right side and bring the strand over, under, over, under and over. Take a new section from the left side. Weave the strand until it's on the middle. So over, under, over, under and over. Add hair strand from the right side and weave until it's on the middle. So under, over the next, under, over, under and over. Keep on weaving like this until you have 12 strands from each side, so total of 24 strands. Now I have total of 24 strands and the another side is secured with the pin. Next I work with one side at a time using 12 strands. So take the outermost strand, bring it over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, 
over and under until the strand is on the middle. Secure the strands with the pin. Take again the outermost strand. Bring the strand over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, and over. Secure the section with the clip. Take again the outermost strand, beginning the weaving. Every time, bring it outermost strand over the next. Then continue the pattern under, over, under, over, under, over, until the strand is moved from the side to the middle. Then secure the strand with the clip. Take again the new strand from the side and bring the strand first over, then move it under, over, under, over until you get the strand to the middle. Repeat this pattern until you move every strand from side to the middle. While you process the braid, shape the weaving so it will be equal. When you finish it the left side like this, repeat the same pattern to the right side. Now I've created the similar weaving on both sides. Next I create the similar weaving on the middle like I did on the first. So take the middle strands and cross them over each other. Then start to add hair from the sides. Bring the strand under. Then from right side, over and under, again from the left side, over and under, take the strand from the right side, bring it under, over and under, then take the strand from the left, bring it under, over and under. Then strand from the right side, over, under, over, and under. Keep on repeating this same pattern. If the hair you're braiding is very long, you can repeat side weaving after this middle weaving and continue braiding with these two techniques as long as you need to. Next, I show you how to create the flower crown. Release the hair strand you left out. Separate the hair in four or more pieces. One piece for one flower. You decide the number of flowers. Take the one piece and separate it in two sections. Then, beginning the braid, the one of the sections using three strands bringing strand from side over to the middle. Pancake the another side of the braid. By pancaking the side, you create like petals of the flower, so the braid will pop up beautifully and look like a flower at the end. Create the similar braid also to the another half of this hairpiece. Now I have two braids which I pancaked to the another side. Next I spin the flower. 
Decide where you want to place the middle of the flower. Create the first circle on that place. Secure the circle with the poppy pin. Then continue spinning around this circle. Secure the end of the braid with the poppy pin. Next, take the another braid and spin it around the flower. Secure the end of the braid with the poppy pin. To create more flowers, you need, of course, more braids. So I've already created these braids and now I just spin them to the flowers. And here's the final result of this braid style. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you like it and I will see you soon again.